I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on Componendo Dividendo Method. This is a remarkable technique which will help you solve most of the challenging questions on ratios and proportions. If A is to B equals to C is to D, then we could always write this as A plus B over A minus B equals to C plus D over C minus D. Now that is the method which we are going to prove and apply in some questions. Let's take up uh, the proof first. So let's prove it. So when I write A is to B equals to C is to D, then in ratios, I could always write this as A over B equals to C over D, correct? That is what it means. Now, if I add 1 on both sides, that is to say, if I do A plus B plus 1, it should also be equal to C plus D plus 1. Taking common denominators, we get B here, and we get A plus B in the numerator, and we get C plus D over D in the denominator. So we get to one more very important result, and that is, if A is to B equals to C is to D, then A plus B over B is also equal to C plus D over D. Do you get the idea? That is to say that A plus B is to B is equal to C plus D is to D. So that is one rule which we have learned just now. Beautiful. Now let us see what happens when we subtract 1. So if A is to B equals to C over D, then let me begin with the same ratio A over B. And this time, let me take away 1. If I take away 1, I get A minus B over B equals to C minus D over D. And so, what can I write now? Well, another ratio, this time with the difference. Perfect. This time with the difference. So what we get here is that A minus B is to B is also equal to C minus D is to D. Well, these equations are extremely important. Let me number them. So this one I will number as 1 and this one I will number as 2. Now see what happens if I divide 1 by 2. Right? So, so you could think like this. What happens when I divide this by this? So on the left side, what do I get? Let me show you here. Now in that case, A plus B over B divided by A minus B over B comes on the left side. So what we get here is A plus B over B divided by A minus B over B should be equal to C plus D over D divided by C minus D over D. So clearly, the denominators of the two cancel away, right? And what are you left with? You're left with A plus B over A minus B should be equal to C plus D over C minus D. That is what you're left with. So we get the third relation, which we'll call componendo and dividendo. So this equation here is what we are looking for. Now, we refer to the first equation as componendo. The second one as dividendo. You could write it in ratios or in proportion. And the third one is combination of the two. Now, 
Now, I'll take up many examples and you'll find those questions in many multiple choice questions for entrance examinations, maybe for good universities or for jobs. And let us see how to utilize this technique to answer some very challenging questions relating to proportions and ratios. I hope you understand and appreciate the technique. Now we have taken an example here. If square root of x plus 4 plus square root of x minus 4 divided by square root of x plus 4 minus square root of x minus 4 equals to 2, then x is equal to what? So we need to find the value of x. Now this question seems to be very difficult, but if you apply the technique just learned, componendo and dividendo, it should be simple. So what is that technique? It is that if a over b equals to c over d, that implies that a plus b over a minus b should be equal to c plus d over c minus d. So this is what we just learned. Now let us see how to apply this technique and solve such a question. So what we are given here is square root of x plus 4 plus square root of x minus 4 divided by square root of x plus 4 minus square root of x minus 4 equals to 2. So we can write this as 2 over 1. Correct? Now think about a over b equals to c over d, where c and d is 2 and 1. So we can apply this component or dividend to method and rewrite the left side as square root of x plus 4 plus square root of x minus 4 add the denominator, right? So this part will add. So this is a numerator, perfect. And let's add to this the denominator, which is square root of x plus 4 minus square root of x minus 4. And in the denominator, we'll subtract this part, right? So we have square root of x plus 4 plus square root of x minus 4 minus square root of x plus 4 minus square root of x minus 4, correct? On the right side, we get 2 plus 1 over 2 minus 1. Now 2 plus 1 over 2 minus 1 is number 3. Now here in the numerator these two terms get cancelled, right? These two terms get cancelled and in the denominator these two terms get cancelled. Perfect. So what do you get? By adding these two we get 2 times square root of x plus 4 and in the denominator we get 2 times square root of x minus 4 equals to 3. Now you can actually cancel 2's also, right? And cross multiply after squaring. So let's first square. So if we square both sides, we get x plus 4 over x minus 4 equals to 9. Do you see that? Now it becomes a very simple equation to solve. Let's cross multiply. So we get x plus 4 equals to 9 times x minus 4 or x plus 4 equals to 9x minus 36 and taking constants to this side we get 4 plus 36 equals to 9x minus x 40 equals to 8x and 40 divided by 8 equals to x so we get x equals to 5 do you see that part so that is how we can easily solve such questions. x equals to 5. You can always verify. If you substitute 5 here, 5 plus 4 is 9, square root is 3, and this is 1. 3 plus 1 is 4, and 3 minus 1 is 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. You get the idea. So that is how we can get this answer. I hope you understand and appreciate the technique. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.